once there is a uh, solution to the conflict with Israel, as a Christian, are you willing to forgive Israelis? No. No? <laughs> I don't think so. Because, Why? Because, I mean, we've been through a lot. It depends. I mean, it's, it, actually, the conflict is more between the governments. So, I don't know if it's going to be easy to forget. But you, you, no, well, forgetting is not the same as forgiving, first. <laughs> forgiving, maybe, as a Christian, I might. Okay. You'd find it in your... If it happens, Yourself. if it ever happens. I never thought of it because I don't know if it's going to happen. In Christianity, uh, Jesus teaches to forgive. Yes. Would you, if, if there's an end to the conflict with Israel, are you willing to forgive of Israelis? Course. Of course. Yes, I do. Yeah. Why? 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 Why do you think that's a good idea? Because we are human. Humanity. Ask me to forgive us. For, 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 I mean, for forgiveness. Yes, that's it. Maybe it's something all sides should learn from. Yes. So, as a Christian, mm. uh, if when there's a solution with Israel, are you willing to forgive Israelis? <laughs> no. No? Okay, why not? Mm. How long, how long ha have we been living like this? They have been living well, and we haven't been living well at all. So she's angry. Yeah, everybody angry. living a good life. Here, it's true, we sleep, eat and drink, but if we, but we're not living the same good life that they are. If, even if we get a permit, and even when I do get a permit, she's saying, I don't go there into Israel because I don't want to see how they're living. They're living much better than we are. Inshallah, I'm here to see the problem, the problem, the the problem, the the problem, the problem, the problem, the problem, the problem, the the problem, the problem, the so you're a Christian yeah. and you live in Ramallah. Um, no, I live in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Oh, you live in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Yeah. So as a Christian, once there's a solution to, this, uh, to the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, are you willing to forgive Israelis? Um... I mean, once there's a solution and there's cooperation between both countries, I mean, yes, obviously, because eventually you, d you do want to live happily and you do want to live peacefully. Therefore, you need to um, basically let go what happened mm -hmm. and then um, continue and carry on. <laughs> Um, when the, um, if the uh, uh, conflict is over with Israel and there's peace between Israelis and Palestinians, are you willing to uh, forgive Israelis? For me, for you, I forgive everybody. Okay. Yes. Why? Why do you forgive everyone? Because, You're telling me before. Because uh, Jesus taught us to forgive your enemy for your uh, family, for, for example. Yes. We have to forget every. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, All the past. Oh, yeah, the things mistakes in the past. Mistakes or uh, yeah. yeah. To live in peace, so, uh, so we have to forgive everybody. So the question is, you're Christian? Yes. And so the question is, in Christianity you're supposed to forgive um, your enemy. So once there's peace with Israelis, are you willing to forgive? Yes. Uh, if, we want, if we want to say if uh, I want to forgive, uh, not that uh, aim of the forgive, but about we see uh, the war, the killing little uh, children in Gaza and anywhere, kill people who uh, pass the checkpoints 
that's all the checkpoints that we can't uh, reach to Jerusalem to pray in the churches or in Bethlehem or anywhere. There is many checkpoints that stop us to pass. You, you, can, you can go to Jerusalem as a Christian. You just need to apply for a permit. A permit. Yeah, you need a permit. And if uh, I don't have a permit, I can't go to Jerusalem. Okay. Yes. So, but the question is, once there's an, a peace agreement, yes. there's going to be peace. But we didn't see any peace agreement. Let's pretend there is peace. Huh? Are you willing to forgive? <laughs> forgive what? The Israeli? Mm -hmm. So, and they, not, and they need to give us our... Uh, Our land, our land. From 48? Yes, you mean? my grandfather left his uh, in 1984, 48. 48? Yes. From where? From Lud. Okay. Yes. So, chances are you're not going to get that back? Yes, we will not get the back, yeah. what, what we see. Just we need the permit to pass there. So let's, but let's pretend that there's a peace agreement, there's two states. Let's pretend. Uh -huh. Are you willing to forgive? You lost your land, you'll get compensation. And where I, I want to live? This land for Ramallah, not for Lud. So why can't you live in Ramallah? It's 40 I'm kilometers from Lud. I'm here in Fruji. So what? So my grandparents. My grandparents. To my, I need to go to my land. Where is my grandparents? You have to go to your land where your grandparents were from. Yes. That you have to. Yes. Really. Yes. Okay. سيصير في حل إن شاء الله يعني للنزاع هل هل كمسيحية مستعدة تسامح الإسرائيليين؟ أول شيء أنا بأعتقادي لا مش راح يصير سنة مش راح يصير في حلو. In my own opinion, I don't think there's going to be peace or a solution. Never, never, never. Not on my when I. Life. As long as I'm living, I don't think there's going to be a solution. Okay. If there were, are you willing to forgive? No. No. Okay. Why? Not. 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 It's not the individual's fault, it's the government. The government. I have a friend, a Jewish. I have a friend, Muslims. I have three friends, a lot of friends, a lot of Muslims, a lot of Muslims, and a lot of Muslims. She has very, very close, three close friends. One is a Muslim, one is a Jew, and one is a Christian. Close, close, yeah. So it's not a matter of faith. It's the government. So the problem isn't with the people, it's with the government. Hey guys, if you want to see more videos like these, please donate. I accept baked goods, free trips to Bora Bora, anything.